Hello, TradingView community. In this quick video, we want to talk about two new features to our Circle Drawing Tool and Ellipse Drawing Tool. Now, before we dive into the new feature that's available for these two drawing tools, let us quickly remind you what these tools are for. The circle is just like what it sounds. You can draw a quick circle on your chart, and you can customize the look, the feel, the positioning, pretty much anything you want about this circle. And how you might use this circle is just to basically remind yourself of important levels. For example, this says USDJPY. We've circled this price level from 2002. Today it is 2022 and you can see we're at the same price level. This is where the circle can be really helpful. You can mark these levels down that are significant to you. Uh, you can do all sorts of notes and annotations with it. If you wanted to, you could even try to plan ahead. Maybe you have a, you know, a, a bullseye or a target that you wanna see at some point. You could sort of use the circle to uh, uh, forecast that or to, to you know, envision where you want to see the trade go at some point, what your target is. Uh, so there's all sorts of different ways to use the circle. And then, of course, the ellipse, same thing. But remember, it's mostly for drawing uh, ellipses and, uh, and other shapes that are just more custom. And you kind of saw how we did that there. You select the ellipse tool. You're going to click once and get a straight line. You can position that line however you want, then click again. And now you are beginning to draw your ellipse. And you can see how easy it is click to set it, double click to obviously create a custom look and feel with a different background or shade on the inside. It's really as easy as that. Now, now that we've reminded you of how to use these tools, the new feature that's come to them is you can now draw text within them. So this is where the tool can probably be more um, useful than ever before. Because as a great example, on this chart that we demonstrated, there's this level from 2002. Well, we can click this level, and we can place the circle on the chart like this, and we can double click to get to the settings. We can create the perfect look, perfect look and feel for our uh, desirable chart. Remember, no trader or investor is ever the same. You need to be able to create an environment and a chart that fits your needs, your color flows, you name it. Well, now you can click text, and this new feature allows you to add in text of your choice. So you could write 2002, make it bold. Let's make the font 16, click OK, check it out. We now have this perfect circle that we've drawn to highlight this area, and you can even see the text within it. Now, hopefully you're, you know, your mind is expanding as you listen to this because you can kind of see all the possibilities that you can do with this. We mentioned earlier, right, maybe you have some sort of price target in mind in the future. You could sort of add, you know, a best case price target and make the text a little smaller so it fits in the circle. Click OK. And you could do all sorts of things like this. You know, you could write, uh, you know, medium case, so not exactly the... Not the best case, but the medium case. And of course, maybe you're just mapping out some levels. This would be your worst case price target. So all sorts of different ways to use these tools. You can try to look ahead into the future to draw out some possibilities or to highlight some zones with the circle. You can go back in time to remind yourself of a really significant level. And then of course, this will always be on your chart whenever you come back to it. The same is for the ellipse tool. You can add the ellipse on your chart like this, double click, click text, and this is this is a big ellipse. And you can kind of see here, bold, italics, let's make this 20. So you can also have a lot of fun, as you can tell, because especially in the ellipse where the text, what's really cool is the text is going to be sort of angled like this depending on how you draw the ellipse. So in the circle, the text is uh, symmetrical, crystal clear, right across the circle. In the ellipse, you can actually have quite a bit of fun giving it this sort of, uh, you know, different angle. And uh, that might come in handy if you really design beautiful charts and enjoy making charts that are super unique. Well, this is another way that you can do that with the ellipse tool. Anyways, those are the two tools and the new feature. We hope you enjoy them as always. 
please write us in the comments below any feedback, questions, or comments. And thanks so much for watching.